Sonic Mania Plus. It's an expanded version of the critically acclaimed game you might have heard of last year, which was Sonic Mania. Plus adds a couple of new features such as gameplay tweaks, level transitions, a snazzy little art book, and an actual physical edition, which is why I waited to buy this game. More features such as a revamped competition mode, and a brand new mode introduced called Encore Mode, which features Mighty the Armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirrel. You remember those guys, right? So, me personally, I've been a Sonic fan since around the mid to early 2000s with Sonic Heroes. I had a neighbor, I was one of those kids who like, um, played with, uh, my neighbor, well, we were friends, right? And, um, they had game consoles, my family didn't, um, let me have game consoles, I, I grew up on handhelds. And he happened to have the Xbox version of Sonic Heroes. And, you know, we played it, we got stuck on... Was it um, the the jungle level, not Frog Forest, the other one where you have to swing from vine to vine with a crocodile? And I really liked it, and I got hooked. And then not too long after that, I actually um, was introduced from another friend something called a Sega Genesis. This is maybe where I was, I was around maybe ten years old or something. And I see that one of his cartridges is actually Sonic Two, and I'm like, oh, okay, so this company named Sega used to actually make game consoles too. How neat. And so years later through PSP manipulation, I ended up playing the entire trilogy, Sonic 1, CD, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yes, I said trilogy, but let's throw Sonic CD in there anyways. <laughs> and I very much enjoyed those games. This isn't your grandma's Mario where you just run around, jump on things, and collect coins. No. This is Sonic the Hedgehog we're talking about, where you run around, collect rings, jump on things, and go fast. <laughs> and Sonic Mania Plus just takes all that stuff from the classic games, kind of mashes it all together into this one big celebratory 2D game. You got your callbacks, you got your original content, you even got your game within your game. This game gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Now while the goal is simple, as all you have to pretty much do is just go right, beat some bosses, continue to the next level, rinse and repeat, there's actually a lot of depth if you just explore your surroundings and try and take on the bonus challenges, like acquiring medals for abilities, and Chaos Emeralds to go Super Sonic. This game even has a Sonic Heroes-esque thing going on in Encore mode where you get to control basically two characters, not at the same time, but you can switch between them situationally. And it's really, really neat. I surprisingly liked Encore mode more than I thought. I just thought it was going to be a recolor. And it's surprisingly... <laughs> it's pretty challenging. I do want to bring something home that probably hasn't been said enough. But this game is essentially made by the community fans of this franchise who got the legal go-ahead and supervision by Sonic Team to create this neat little masterpiece. There's lots of love poured into this project, and it shows through its advertising, collaborative animation, and transparency with the community. I implore everyone watching this, if you're a fan of 2D side-scrollers with banging tunes and a decent amount of difficulty, I think you'll quite enjoy Sonic Mania Plus. It's no more than $30, and it shows companies like Sega that voting with your wallet does work, and we do want to see more works of art like this in the future. So that's going to basically do it for this video. My main point is, if you enjoyed what you saw in the video, I would definitely employ that you get this game. It's a good amount of fun existing on all modern platforms. And those are my general thoughts. I'm sorry it's not like very professional as other uh, commentators would do, but I'm thinking, hey, I just felt like I had to get it out there already and just finally do it. But who knows, you guys surprised me continuously, so I'm gonna see how this one does. I am planning on doing more videos like this, maybe a little more scripted, but we'll see depending on time because I have other things going on. But again, thank you all so much for watching, especially if you made it right to the end. Um, if you made it to the end, I guess uh, consider subscribing if you're not a uh, subscriber already. Uh, follow me for more content, whatever I upload. It's just generally video games, so maybe Nintendo-esque, or maybe something wild. Um, I stream on Twitch sometimes. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch as well. I have a Twitter, which you can follow me on my social media, so that will be linked in the description. 
And that's generally it. If you like Sonic Mania, definitely let me know why in the comments. There's a lot of good in there, and I was gonna keep it between us. I got this game for like, what, like, not even like, I got this game for like $15 with like Best Buy Gamer Club Unlock, Breast in the Pieces, that. But, anyways, I'm rambling on. Thank you again so much for watching, and uh, that's all the time that I have today. I gotta get back to playing Sonic Mania Plus on my Nintendo Switch. <laughs>